Hi guys, so in this lesson we are going to be practicing internal resistance questions. So here we have a circuit, we've got a battery, we've got a 2 ohm resistor, a 3 ohm resistor, we've got some parallel combination, and the internal resistance of the battery is given as 1 ohm, and the EMF of the battery is 10 volts. What that means is that it is a 10 volt battery, so if you had to walk into a shop, on the actual battery itself it will say 10 volts. So here's question one. Once again, you can pause the video if you would like and try them yourself. So question A or question one is to find A1. Now A1 is an ammeter and so it measures current. Now remember, we said that current is the same everywhere in series. The only place where it's not the same is when you're in parallel because then it gets to split but everywhere in series, even going through the battery, it's the same. So we know from previous knowledge that I is equal to V over R, but now here's where I could catch you out. You might say, okay, well, I'm just gonna use this voltage over here, and that is absolutely fine, you can, but then what resistance do we use? That 10 volts is the EMF, and that is the total out of everything, and so you would have to use the total resistance. What I mean by that is absolutely everything. All the resistors on the outside plus the resistance inside the battery itself. And so let's go work all that out. So the 2, the 3, and this 1 ohm, those are all in series. You can imagine there's a little resistor inside the battery here with 1 ohm. Those are all in series. This part is in parallel, so we need to work that out first. So remember the parallel formula is 1 over R parallel is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 over 4. You then type that in on the calculator as you see it, and that gives you 5 over 4. You then flip your numbers upside down, and so you end up with 4 over 5, which is the same as 0, 0,8 ohms. And so now we could work out the total resistance inside the whole circuit. That would be 2 plus 3, plus 0 0.8, which is this entire part, plus the 1, which is the inside the battery. And that gives us 6.8 ohms. And so we could use I equals to V over R. And we're using the V of the battery, but not the internal or the external. We're using the total, and it's the EMF. And that is why we're using the total resistance. And that'll give you 6.8 and that'll give you 1.47 amps. So Kevin, but you showed us a different formula and my teacher uses a different formula as well. Yes, guys, you're talking about this formula. Now have a look here. If we had to get I by itself, you would end up with I equals to EMF over R plus R. And isn't that what we just did? EMF is 10 and R plus R is the external resistors. That would be the two plus the three plus the 0 0.8 plus the small r, which is 1. And so you can do this however you like, as long as you understand that if you're going to use i equals to v over r, which can always work, if you're using the 10 volts, and that's the EMF, then you must use all of the resistors, even the internal resistance. The next question is to work out V1. Now, people often get confused. Does V1 measure the internal voltage, like the last volts, or does it measure the external? This V1, you must remember this, this is your external. So what that means is if you walk into a shop and you buy a 10 volt battery, and you connect it into your circuit, maybe your battery will get about 9.2 volts, and so that means 0 0.8 volts is being used up where? in the battery. But this 9.2 that you're actually getting from your battery, that's what the external is. And so that's what this one's measuring. It's not measuring inside the actual battery. It's looking at if you started here, how many volts would you use if you went to the other side to there? It's not talking about going through the battery. It's going around the circuit. And so once again, I just really love to use I equals to V over R. Um, you can use this long formula. Sometimes that's going to be necessary. But I equals V over R just always works. You just got to always know which I to use and which R to use. So what voltage are we looking for now? Well, the voltage we're looking for now is the external. So that means you must use the external resistance, which is this one, this one, 
plus the combination of these two, which was 0 0.8. We're not going to include the internal resistance now. The current, luckily that's the same, so the current is going to be 1.47. The resistance is going to be the external, so that's going to be external resistance, which is 2 plus 3 plus 0 0.8, which gives us 5.8. And so voltage on the external will be 1.47 multiplied by 5.8, and that's going to give us 8.53 volts. So we went to the shops, we purchased a 10 volt battery, and what are we actually getting? 8.53, not too bad. So that's the end of this question, but I just wanna quickly summarize something. So you can use I equals to V over R as much as you like, but there are th three different ways you could do this. If you are using the EMF, then you would say I equals to, then your voltage that you're using is gonna be the EMF, then what resistance would you use? Think about this carefully. Remember the EMF is the total out of everything. So then you would have to use R plus small r. So it's all the R's. It's the outside resistance, which is on the outside of your circuit, which is the two, the three, and the 0 0.8, plus you would have to use the internal resistance. If you're using voltage external, which is like V1, then you would use I equals to V and that's your external voltage, then you only use the capital R, which is just the 2, the 3, and the 0 0.8. You might even want to use V internal. So then you use I equals to V. Now that's going to be internal, and then you're going to use small r. So that's it, guys. You can choose whichever one of those that you need to use. Then, of course, if you're wanting to work out let's say you're wanting to work with this V2 over here, then you can use I equals to V over R again. Then the current, the current's the same. It's only when you're in parallel that you have to be careful there. Then the voltage you would use would be V2, and the resistance that you would use would be the 2 ohm. So IVR is an amazing formula, but you just need to know what combination of V and R have to be used together. Thanks for watching.